living paycheck to paycheck, uh, just trying to survive. You talk about a rough road. T.J. Dickey has had to fight his whole life. My dad was kind of in and out of jail, you know, my whole life, and uh, she was a waitress, so we kind of survived on tips. I would do just about anything. Typically, I would work in restaurants a lot. Uh, I would always wash dishes, bus tables. Just, uh, I kept getting in trouble a lot. You know, I would always get searched on the side of the street, and it wasn't, a day didn't go by when I didn't kind of get harassed. T.J. entered North Caddo High School could care less about school, but by his senior year, he has a real problem. I was willing to work with him. There was one thing he had to do, and he had to come to school every day. I could not help him if he was not here, and he showed up every day. If his teacher motivated TJ, there were other darker voices. So one person told me that, you know, I wasn't gonna be nothing in life. I was gonna be another statistic. TJ says no. About that time, he discovers martial arts and finds an outlet for his anger. TJ is good at it, begins to dominate local MMA, starts to teach it, becomes a deputy with the Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office. Finally, there is light in his life now and purpose. They got to see you as a human and not as just law enforcement. Then, a couple of years ago, TJ goes back to his old high school. Now he is the SRO and they love him. I mean, he's not just SRO in the normal sense of doing his job, make sure our campus is safe, but he's also, he's worried about our kids, like individually worried about them. Like he seeks them out. He knows which kids were like him in school, the ones that he sees that were struggling. Someone who has walked the same. I grew up really rough. Hard road. Getting in trouble, getting incarcerated. I've been to jail seven times for, for fighting. I thought all cops was just after me, because I always used to get in trouble. And I was like, man, I think it's just because of me. When I was kind of hearing this story, uh, kind of, you know, single parent coming up, that, that's what I saw myself was in geo. He asked me, did I like fighting? I said, yes, sir. And he said, well, I, did martial, I do martial arts and I teach it. And so I said, yes, sir. You know, martial arts is kind of what changed my life, and I figured, you know, what better way to relate to this kid. Gio finishes high school, joins the National Guard, then the tough guy who thought all cops were out to get him. Decides, maybe not. Then one day he decided, he said, man, I, I think I want to be a, a I want to work for the Cattle Perry Sheriff's Office. Before TJ, I really never liked it. I really never liked the uh, police officers, but he really changed my mind. But you know, uh, TJ was really one of the biggest father figures I ever had. So I really listened to him. He told me his backstory, and I, that's when I really started listening. Cause he came, me and him went through the same thing, went through the same struggles. I'm the first person in my family to uh, graduate high school. I'm the first person to go to the Army. I'm the first person to start doing cattle sheriff. My siblings are still in school, and they look up to me, and they always, when I come home, they always say how proud, uh, how proud they are of me, especially my mom. Uh, I was ecstatic. I was just, I was kind of moved. I tell them all the time how proud I am of them. Come on. First time having a father, so I was like, you know, it came in a great time, too. Cause I was like 18, I was like 18, 19, heading down the bad road. The road is smoother now for Gio. That's what fathers do. Clear the way so their sons can see a path forward. I want to do the same thing TJ did for me. I want to help a young kid say every, every uh, deputy is not bad. And I, but my really main goal is to help kids. That was me, you know, endangered kids.